We are live on top of Gerald Swindle's bass fishing vessel. We've got a very exciting announcement to make. I don't want to steal any thunder. I'm Thomas Allen with Bassmaster. The man himself right next to you is Gerald Swindle. And what do we have on here that's so exciting today? I'm telling you, it is called the Solix 15 by Humminbird. It is 15-inch full glass screen, corner to corner. And as we say in the South, pimping ain't easy, and it ain't easy. This thing is going to change the way we look at TV. I mean, yeah, you can have a little TV, or you can have a big TV. And to me, pretty excited, folks. This is live. This is live. So put up the children. Don't nobody panic. If I screw up, well, y'all know what I'm talking about. But, I mean, you guys come in. Tim and Justin come in from Hummingbird and they installed us on my boat in, in less than an hour and we come out here and he said, I want you to just see the difference. And I'm out on Lake Gunnersville and I'm, I'm pretty familiar with Lake Gunnersville. I mean, I know a lot of the areas that we're going to go look at and I start immediately eyeing on places that I thought I knew what was there. I really did. I was like, man, I know this is an old road and from what I seen with, with mega imaging, when we say mega imaging, we're talking about power. We're talking about transducer string being able to up it to, so you get a better defined picture. Yeah, it has a lot more technical term to that, but translation to a fisherman, that it's like increased uh, sensitivity on the transducer, power, the speed of the return, translated into the picture is much cleaner. You, it's easier to decipher whether it's a log, uh, how many fish is on the brush. I mean, you can see a car on here now, like you know that there's a car on the bottom. See, like that's a boat. Did you see it just popped up here? That's a boat. And it had about 215 hours on it. Looked like it might have sank due to a gunshot in the floor by a cotton mouth. I mean, that's detail at its best. I mean, I didn't know that boat was here. I found that today as we're getting ready to do this. So think about that. How many times I might have fished this spot back and forth. So, yeah, we got a better picture, but look, full touch screen. Full touch screen. I mean, I can move everything around or I can use a shortcut. Now, look here. I can go up and down with sensitivity with a quick knob right here. All my menus are real fast. Look, if I want to change the color or touch screen, look here. Go to all my colors back out. Say you want to go to Mega Chirp, you want 800, 455 Mega, it's right there. What they did is they've kind of shortcut all your menus. And what that means as to a fisherman is it's it's easier to get to. If I'm out here eyeballing in an area and I think, man, that, this, this bottom's kind of soft and I want to dial it up a little bit, it's just this simple. I just start moving the dial, everything comes up, I get more, more sensitivity turned up that quick so what that does is enable me to fine-tune things at all times with this I think it's just easy to operate the menu still real simple you can tell that they did a lot of research the first thing I noticed is how much easier it is to get around on it and it seems like that's what they're pushing for is the simplicity for the user the fisherman the guy out here every day I'm going to show you some detail I found this when I was 19 years old with a flasher and I knew there was some type of hole out here on the bottom. And I looked at this on my other imaging and I went out here with my hands and went out here with my onyx and I could tell a little bit about what it was. You know, you can see that there was a, there was a hole there but I want you to watch the screen and this is live so you can't make this up folks. If I screw up, I'm fishing with a car with bobber next week. But this is just an old, it seems to be an old house foundation. You kind of coming up on it, you see different what I'm seeing here is super detailed. Watch this. You ain't gonna see that in no pool hall, folks. That's a well. It looks like an old foundation around it, what used to be an old well. You can't make that up. You can't recreate that. That is the clearest I've ever seen it. Mega imaging at its best. 15 inches, wall to wall, and treetop tall. I've got four screens working, four panes. This is, I mean, I, you can do so much with this. Even if I went into my mapping, send an email and within one hour of working with a new Solix 15 I've got basic menu down I know where I need to be I've got my settings and I was actually able to find a boat huh a boat I got something for you Gerald it's 15 inches it's big and I'm sure people are gonna go 
how much bigger do you need it? Talk about the applications and how much easier it is to maneuver and, and set up your screen when you have 15 inches of work. Well, I think a lot of people want to know why, why are we going bigger and going away? Because I'm 47, I can't see. Any more questions? I mean, I can't see. I do think with a bigger screen, you do you get a little bit more clarity. And, and, and think about it like this. Lake Master, the chip I'm using in here, you know, if I've got this much more of the lake available when I'm running around, I can see contours, I can see channels, I know what's there. So by having a, an advanced size screen, I can split my screens up, side image and down image, and I can do sonar, I can do mapping. To me, the, the I don't know what the limit's going to be. Uh, you know, and if you'd have asked me five or six years ago, hey man, would you ever dream of having a 15 inch screen? No, but I just didn't have enough sense to think about it because it's very nice. I mean, and they say that they're taking this and back with them, but they ain't. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what, I'm fighting this is over because when you see it at this level, it just changes things. I mean, it, to me, I've never, I mean, I've seen a boat with two rods on it. One of them had a Carolina rig tied on I mean, there she won't, folks. I mean, Y'all supposed to be working. Y'all on your lunch break right now. Look at this redneck's out here operating this flat screen TV on the water. <laughs> yes. So this comes in a 15 and it comes in a 12 inch model. Absolutely. And it comes with a bunch of other features as well. Gerald's gonna take this one also, but you, you've got Auto Chart Live. Auto Chart Live. Which is one of the coolest features in the world. Yes. You, I mean, to me, I think you can get as elaborate with it as you want with Auto Chart Live, with all the, the things that it offers. From, from adjusting your sensitivity, every pane, every window, you can, everything has its own, but you don't have to be that guy. If you want to go simple, go simple. If you want to chart your own lake and get your own chart and set your own pace, you can do that too. Uh, where else can you get the best of both worlds? Most of the time when something gets that out there, that, that much intelligence in it, it gets too hard to operate, but it's not. Trust me. Trust me. Even when I'm out here doing this, I mean, I'm really trying to focus on the Solux 15, and what, what I'm running into is Trip Weldon's burning my phone up, sending me emails. He's The Coast Guard told him that if I'm going to have this beard and fish, it's going to have to have a life jacket, too. So, you know, it's a, it's a requirement. So, Trip, I'm working on that, okay? I'll be legal the time Cherokee gets here, you know. Uh, beard game's strong. The only thing stronger than the beard game is the Solux 15, I can tell you that. Wide screen, baby. That's what it would take. If my beard come across here, it would be like blinking gold. A couple of people were wondering um, how the screen did when you were going really fast. Like, did you? Was it nice and you know stable? You could still right. read it. Absolutely. You know, and, and and traveling, and you can see we got several people in the boat. It's windy out here today, so things are kind of rocking around. And what I've noticed is it seems like. I don't know why exactly how Justin done it, but the screen seems to be more tolerable uh, when you're on it, you know, for your fingers and stuff when you're touching in and out. Uh, it seems like they've actually got it dialed in with it. It's pretty sensitive where if you actually bump it, it doesn't go off course. Uh, when I was running, even on the Kong mount, it's pretty stable. You know, naturally as we go to 15 inch screens, we're going to have to keep reinforcing and reinforcing. But I was pretty impressed by how well it done at high speeds and being able to reach over. And, and something that you can always consider is when you're running, for me, running wide open at a high end deal, I'm going to use the quick knob right here. I'm going to always go to the knob because I can put my hand on it and brace it as I'm running. You know, if you're running 70, doing touch screens kind of off. See, this is always a great idea to reach up and hold it like this where you can adjust something, whether it be your mapping or whatever you're doing. So I think by having the option of that is key. That big screen will keep the bugs out of your beard while you're running. Well, you see, it's almost like, you know, you could peek up over it or I could say Van Dam was like right here fishing and I was trying to see. I could just peek up on him and get back <laughs> down, you know. It has a lot of advantages. The big screen has a lot of advantages. I mean, it looks really cool, too, so when you pull in the boat ramp. I mean, let's just go ahead and get right down to the nuts of boats. A couple people have asked about compatibility with Onyx and other products, if you want to talk about that. So, it's fully compatible with This Onyx. is Justin, by the yeah, way. Yeah. Justin Freeman, I work for him in Vernon. The new Solix series is fully compatible with Onyx. It, it,
that level of detail, you mentioned it a little bit ago, we saw that boat that had that spinning rod on there that yes. was sunk down there years ago. Yeah, with a grain pumpkin worm. Grain pumpkin it's worm. Problem. That detail provides so much more information than what you're used to having. Talk about, about that a little bit. Well, I think it's going to help us uh, understand areas we're fishing. You know, it's a difference when you're fishing a log or when you can see that it's a log with a fork in it, how you line up, how you're going to cast. I know that seems like super, super detailed, but when you have it at your fingertips, you're going to naturally, it's going to transition over to how do you fish those targets. Is it boulders? Is it small rocks? Is it rip rock? I think that's going to be what you see in this that's going to be kind of a mind-blowing deal. You know, I like the fact that he said it's compatible. I mean, it's like more compatible than Taylor Swift and her last 18 boyfriends. I mean, this actually works together and holds together, Taylor. And she can't even write a song about it because it's not broke up, but, you know. Um, a couple of people have asked about when will it be available, how much can they expect it to cost. So we'll be releasing pricing very soon, but we look uh, for availability in the March time frame. Coming up. Now, coming up. That's what I'm talking about. See how I brought Justin along? See, Justin's just kind of humble, but he's the brains behind the brains. He's engineering all the way. And what's kind of cool, and I mean, we're doing this a live release today, and yeah, it's, yeah, you think I was like, well, you're doing a lot of it for publicity, but let me tell you what, it, if you want to look at the, the behind the scenes, I have an engineer sitting in the boat with me. Now, think about that. The guy that helped design this product, that worked on the, the software, the hardware, everything to it. He gets in a boat with me and we talk. He gets in a boat with Kevin, he talks. He gets in a boat with Brent Ayler, he talks. What he's doing is taking information that I'm giving him and how we use it as fishermen, how we use it. And if you're on Bass Live today and you're watching this, you're gonna use it because you're fishing, not because you're selling around the world to try to make a world record for some crazy selling deal. You're a fisherman. He's taking that information in and he's asking, Drew, what would you like to see? You know, I, I wanted a simpler menu, you got a simple menu. He's helping me to get things in this that the fisherman wants. So to me, I think that's the big thing. Yeah, it's a 15 inch solar, it's glass screen, it's got everything you can want. It's the pimp of the pimps, but you got the brains of the operation, logging down information and taking notes and saying, we'll look into that, we'll make this better. What do you want? Folks, you don't get that everywhere. I'm telling you, I've been in this a long time. You don't get that everywhere. To me, that's the big release today for me. Yeah, it's cool to hang out with you guys, but to know I'm sitting with a guy that can change how I fish next year, that can take down information today and say, if you had a dream button on there, what would it be? Or what would you like to see better? That's how they improve this product to the next level. I mean, and when I ran Onyx, I thought it couldn't get any better. I put the new Helix on this year, and yeah, we got mega imaging. So in a fisherman, layman's turn, what that means is we have crystal side imaging, down imaging, traditional sonar, so you got the crystal clear picture. It shows three fish, you're fishing for three fish. That's what that really means to me. That's how it translated to me. Then I see this and I thought I didn't think this could get any better and now I'm looking at this. So pretty exciting to know what might be coming next. Here's a thought for you. So the, there's another feature that comes standard on the Helix units and the new Solix is the Mega Chirp. And Chirp is actually something that I don't know all the details about, but it has a, it shows bait fish individually. Target separation is what that's called, maybe. Talk about how important that well, is. Well, normally I don't answer these questions like that or that that easy to answer. So I'm gonna let Justin answer that one. I mean, that was just just like hitting softballs there. So, so in, uh, the new to Solix is um, the solar is all digital, and for the 2D uh, side imaging and down imaging, they all chirp. Uh, and Mega, just like on the Helix, chirps from 1.15 megahertz to 1.25 megahertz. And that's really what gives you the detail. Um, the side effects of being digital and having chirp have allowed us to reduce the noise in the signal, which allows us to increase the signal so you get uh, that detail to a further range. And that not only applies to Mega, but also applies to 800 and 455, which Solix still supports. And what, what we get out of that is 800 feet side to side on 455, and then Mega is where you get the details. So you have options with the frequencies that'll give you range and detail depending on your application. So we a, sorry, we have a few people asking about the transducer and the same as Onyx. The, so the transducer is a little bit different uh, than Onyx. We get this question a lot in regards to Helix. Mega is not just a software update. It's a hardware update that's inside the control head because of the digital sonar. It's a, it's a new transducer. Uh, 
just like the Helix Mega SI has dedicated um, side imaging and down imaging elements, the Solix 15 and 12 SI have dedicated side imaging and down imaging elements. So you get you have this huge um, new complete package of technology that has to be applied from the transducer, the transducer cable, and the uh, and the hardware inside the unit to be able to drive the med. So it's it's all very new. I forgot what I was going to ask. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let me tell you what that means. It means I put the same transducer for this Solix 15. I used the same bracket and just moved it back. So, yes and no. It is not, if you're changing it out on existing brackets or where you got it mounted, because I know that's what some of you are thinking. Like, we you know, is it going to be a transducer this big? Within minutes, I had it on my boat, and you can see the kind of picture I got. So, it's, it's different in the inside but on the outside you won't see that much difference trying to get it on your boat and, and one of the things that we hadn't really discussed that I really like guess I'll throw a question out there guess how many waypoints you think this bad mama jammer a hole huh anybody got any guesses throw up some of them little heart guesses how many waypoints so we say helix 12 traditionally 2300 2400 2700 waypoints the onyx was 5000 Anybody want to guess? Anybody want to guess? Want a free Mark Zona hat? <laughs> 5,000, says Scott. Scott, you need to bring it on up, son. You need to bring it on up. 3,000, says Eric. Eric, Three come thousand. on now. What do you think this is? 20,000 waypoints. This has the ability to store 20,000 waypoints. So if you called all your buddies that ever fished the tournament, they sent you all their waypoints, you still put them on this year. I think was really pushed in by fishermen because guys have kept units over years and years and years and they'll they keep logging up their waypoints and they'll get to six seven thousand waypoints but not only will it hold twenty thousand but when you when you log them in it does not control or it does not hinder the amount of time the response time and a lot of even in a computer if you overload it with information it slows down its operating speed with a Solix 15, it's not gonna happen. You put 20,000 waypoints in here and everything's still gonna be ticking on time. And stop looking at my well. Stop. Do not look at my well. That is not there. Timmy's in the well. Timmy's in the well. So you talked about something a little bit ago about the lifestyle that we live. We're always getting busier by the day. And you don't necessarily have the type of free fish as spend as much time on the water as you'd like. All of this technology is gonna make your Absolutely. I think you're seeing more and more guys migrate to, they don't pre-fish that much. You know, I don't think Kevin pre-fishes much at all. I don't pre-fish really any at all. But, you know, people think, well, why? It's because I have all this technology at my fingertips. If it's an offshore tournament, I'm using a Lake Master chip. I mean, I'm seeing a one-foot contour. I mean, I see everything that's there. So I can put the boat in the water, fish the current conditions, and use this information and get just as much out of my time. So I do think this is gonna affect long-term pre-fishing. And, and one of the things I hear when I speak, whether it's at a club tournament or a kid's tournament, they say, you know, I don't have enough time to go out and practice like seven to eight hours or seven to 10 days. With technology like this, with a picture this clear and this much information in a card, I don't know that you need that much practice anymore. I truly don't. I think if you're fishing offshore and looking for structure, you can spend enough time idling around and you can find the targets that you need and you're gonna have uh, more success because you're fishing the moment with the information you're being provided and there's no false sense of uh, what you're doing here. This is just what the bottom is and then you're going to look at it. I like that. Gerald, we had a question. I didn't do it. Why do bass eat date, worms? I did not date her. I did not do that. Why do bass eat worms? Because they can't order Chick-fil-A. Good answer. Good answer. Um, someone asked if it has a USB or a, a storage like port. Nope, it has a dual dual SD card slots out the front, so you can see the door on the right. So check this out. So it's a easy access in and out. So it's an IPX uh, rated door there that keeps the water out, uh, keeps salt out, keeps dirt out. And dual front facing full SD card slots. One thing I want to point out, there's more questions on, on that are going to be asked and we're going to be able to answer. We're going to go through all the comments and follow up and answer all these questions. So we'll make sure we follow up with them.
possible. Not me, though. I'm not going to follow up. <laughs> I'm going to be fishing. I'm just going to be honest with you. I didn't do it, Tom. So but when you're driving down the lake 75 miles an hour with your hair on fire, yes. you get a text message from Lulu. You have to look at that. Yes. Okay, are you going to reach down in your pocket and grab that phone and look at it, or are you going to read it on here? Well, I think now I'm going to read it on here, you know, and, it, and we're, it's Bluetooth capable. Right? Right. I mean, so you can have your phone messages like these guys in this boat. If they would have had text back then, they would have known a storm was coming, you know. So, yeah, you can link them together. Everything's synced up, and I can be able to get my text message everything on this, you know. Sorry, if someone has asked if you can see the weather. Not right now. Not right now. Listen now, people. come on now. I got to leave something up for you to do. I mean, I'm asking for the weather, but you got your phone in your pocket. That was one of the first questions Gerald asked me yesterday. yesterday <laughs> one of the first questions I asked Justin, I was like, Justin, when am I going to be able to get the weather on this? He said, technically, there's all kind of stuff you can put on there, he said, but the bottom line is you got your phone in your pocket, and most people are going to refer to their phone as the weather and look at that. There is things that they could do, and it's, they've been looking at it, but you got your phone in your pocket, and you got Indian wind dot. About 15 to 20 out of south, see? <laughs> Another it, question. It, Sorry. The weather on there, the weather notifications, it's an important thing. It's a great idea. It's, it's at the very top of our bucket list. We like the idea, and we're going to keep working. Yeah. Another question we got, Gerald. What lake are you on? Lake Gunnersville. Lake Gunnersville, North Alabama, baby. I know we've been out here the last couple of days looking around at stuff, and you've made the comment to me that, You've seen stuff more now than you have before. Absolutely. I mean, I took you guys, as soon as we dropped in yesterday evening, I ran to an area that's it's an old road bed, but it's very, very vague. And I've seen it on my Onyx. I've seen it on my Helix. And yep, so you can see it. And it's there, and I can see some detail. But when I went over it yesterday with the Solix 15, I looked around, and I thought, man, you know, I didn't quite know there was that big a rock on the side of it. The detail was so clear of what we were looking at and I'm look I'm going mm. there's things I'm seeing things that I even though I have a lot of history here I'm seeing things that I didn't quite know was there like that. Yeah. Anything else you guys? You mentioned already so Auto Chart Live just like on Helix Auto Chart Live is um, being updated with the Solix uh, series of units. So not only do we have the, the, the conventional contour mapping that we've always had with Auto Chart Live, but we're adding uh, bottom hardness and vegetation layers. And Gerald was showing me that yesterday with side imaging, looking at the intensity of the return on side imaging to determine if the bottom's soft or hard. Now, once you find that area, you can map it on, on your uh, top of your Lake Master map or on top of your Navionics map. And instead of having to find it every time with imaging, you can go straight there to the edge or, or, of, or the uh, transition between hardness and soft bottom or the edge of the weed line. Uh, with the new iPilot Link uh, products we've come out with, you can follow the, the contour around the, the hardness uh, or around the weed line. So all of that stuff that you've probably seen and heard about in Helix is also going to be in Solix as well. We've got a lot of cool stuff on the Solix, but we haven't even touched how cool this is going to be working with the Ultrex which drives the front of the boat. That's another conversation for another day. But That's another Facebook Live. There are I mean, so many different ways. To think use. about it. I can actually chart an area. I can circle a big patch of eelgrass on Gunnersville on a, on a river bar. I can go out and circle it. And then I can actually, with my controller motor and everything communicating together, I can actually go around and around that eelgrass in the perfect place I need to be. I can back it off a little bit, cast at it. I mean... It's basically doing everything but helping you cast. I mean, and there's guys out there that need help with that. I mean, I mean, bad damn, he's not bad, you know, but you know, he can always use a tune up. Um, someone wanted to know if you could uh, zoom in on some structures so they can see what it looks like, maybe make it. Well, I'm in the seas right up here. I'm about back up here to my boat. So you want to know, like on side imaging, if I idle over something, if I could, yeah, you can go out there and zoom in on it. So let me find it for you, because right here we just got some places like I fished here in the classic when I caught three. It's this kind of stuff I was on where, where there's nothing, you know. It's not even a fish, not even a mineral. Yeah, you can see that fish in that hole right there, can't you? Out through here and just see what all we can see. 
but I think by zooming into that, you can really get over there. We saw some areas yesterday with some big stalks and roots and stuff, and you can see the roots and all the trees are laying down there. But it's an endless, endless sea of knowledge. Brian Parker asked you to go to full screen side imaging, Gerald. And Brian, you're going to have to say pretty please, okay? Okay, we're going to go full imaging. like that? Huh? That's pretty neat, ain't it? Just, you know, practicing my skills on that. So it really does give you, uh, give you a sense. And check it out how easy it is. The sensitivity settings all right here. Of course, you have your just the whole side imaging menu right here on, you know, contrast, everything. Chart speed, right there. Quick to adjust. And you're fixed to idle up on the well here. No foundation. We'll zoom around on it. Look at that. Brian didn't know I could do that, did he? <laughs> Brian's supposed to be working. He's probably not. They're taking a lunch break. I mean, it's the clarity is just unbelievable. Crystal. Just too clear. You see a lot of rocks and boulders coming up into it. Smaller rocks on the outside working in. You see a little high place right there. Oh, we just go straight over the well. like a uh, garden house, got a couple shovels in it. Just made that up, Brian, don't panic. Oh, don't panic, Brian, it's actually made that up. One thing you learn about a fisherman, son, they can wing it till they bring it, they don't make it up. But you can see the detail there, even if you scroll out from this side and see what these rocks look like, you can come out here and get you back over there. My poor face. There we go. Uh -huh. uh, so, do you want to say goodbye to Facebook? Maybe wrap up what they need to know in case well, they just I got would, here. To be honest with y'all, I'd like to go fishing. I mean, I've been hanging out with y'all, but I do, I do want to say thanks for joining us and, and checking out the new Solix 15. I think uh, this is a big, big step uh, and high end. I mean, to me, just taking off out front check i mean in a couple of months it'll be in stores it'll be in stores so from me to you guys at bass i look forward to seeing you at cherokee the classic okeechobee there's going to be a lot of this going on you're going to see a lot of guys staring at big screens just like you're looking at yours today so from us at hummingbird to you at bass and everybody at work peace out we're going to eat <laughs>